Like a lot of people, uh, it meant a lot when he passed away to a lot of people. And if you don't know him, something wrong with you. His name Benjamin Franklin. We gonna do that. Hundred dollar bill. We gonna do that. Big money, heavy money. El Da Vinci. I'm right here on Erie Inc. with my man. And remember, you rocking with the finest. COD. Catch me. This time on Inked and Eerie. We'll head back to Zinc Tattoo to talk to Miss Mo, who is the de facto artist to Eerie's hip hop community. We'll meet Shayla and Boss, who immortalized their relationship in Ink. We'll return to Bay City, where Lee faces her fear of clowns with a pretty vicious clown tattoo. And we'll introduce you to Teddy Rex, one of Eerie's finest new artists. These stories and more next on Inked and Eerie. It's Monday afternoon and Zinc Tattoo is closed. But not for members of Erie's hip hop community, who come to hang out, talk music, and get inked by Miss Mo. Hello. Hi. What's up? What's up? Welcome to Inked and Erie. Thank you for having me. When did you first get started as a tattoo artist? As a tattoo artist? Well, I have been working at tattoo shops since 2009. I've been tattooing for about a year, uh, full time. I originally started off working um, at the Sturgis Bike Rally for a shop where I basically just drew and made stencils and dealt with customers and stuff. And then I worked at a shop in Erie on and off since then. I worked Sturgis twice. Um, and then I worked at a shop in Edinburgh for a very short time. It was only open for a little bit. And then um, I moved out of state for a while, and then I came back, and then there was an opportunity for me to get hired at the shop and learn to tattoo, and I was like, it's something I've always wanted to do, and so that's what I did. So anything you won't do, has a client ever come to you and said, I want this, and you said no? Yes, actually, that was, that was the reason I left my, my last place of employment is because they wanted a, a very graphic neo-Nazi tattoo of a bunch of Jews burning in an oven with racial holy war above it. And I said I will absolutely have no part in that and ended my employment because they wanted to make me do it. And I was like, nope, that's something I will not do. I mean, I can't tell a person no because if that's what they believe, that's what they believe. But, you know, I can also deny service to anybody that I want. I mean, uh, it's it, it wasn't worth the money to do it, and it wasn't worth, you know, I didn't want to put my name on that. I didn't want somebody to see that tattoo and be like, who did that? You know, I wasn't going to be responsible for that. They can they can go to somebody else and have somebody else do that, so I, I bowed out of that one. Exactly Good right deal. Let me just finish drawing this up. Yeah. How you doing? My name Boss, up? and we're here to get tatted. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna Stay get ink Oh yeah, lots of it. Lots of nice artwork. We gonna get a lot more from this artist right here. So, Tell me about that one. Oh, we make music and it's a microphone. You know, just that's where I'm, that's my profession. So a lot of my artwork is about music and related to music. So you got any other ink? Yeah. And just a lot of. Little bits and pieces to my sleeves come together and my son's name. Um, boss Here's name. You put and it. <laughs> He's shut up, Megan. I'm on film right now. I'm talking on the phone to you. This is my friend Megan, who's not supporting me right now. <laughs> hey, Megan. What's up? Yeah, I almost forgot. He's they said, hi, Megan. Here. What's up? I only got on one. Tell me about the tattoo itself, so the elements of it. What, what does the, okay. what does it mean? So the guns again, it's like, I don't know, like ride or die, just we bought that action. <laughs> <laughs> Guns really take care of everything. They solve any kind of problem, personally. So there's two of them, one for me, one for him. We solve each other's problems. Boss, because that's my, my baby. baby. That's who I'm with. That's his name. That's my baby. That's the boss. And the wings, because I'm an angel. <laughs> nice. And the crown, because we're royalty. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether you're more excited because you're doing a tattoo or because I'm letting you do a freaking clown. The clown thing is <laughs> it's pretty exciting. 
So why are you getting this tattoo again? Well, to try and overcome a fear of clowns, I guess you'd say, and you know, picking the scary one. I told, as long as it wasn't Pennywise, I am okay. <laughs> How long have you been afraid of clowns? Oh my gosh, 30 years. Really? And it's more than just clowns? Any clowns and balloons. Something about balloons just freaked me out. And heights. Have you ever thought about what could be the root of that? I've tried figuring out, and so has my shrink. <laughs> to no avail, but... <laughs> what happens to you when you see a clown? Oh, I'll freak. I literally scream. It's like seeing a two-year-old get scared. I freak. So how do you... What do you think is going to happen when you wake up every morning? And where are you getting the tattoo? On my calf. So you'll see it every day? Uh-huh. Yeah. It's one of those things where the more familiar something becomes, the less scary it is. It's uh, not usually a tattoo that's recommended for this kind of therapy, but you know, usually the more you expose yourself to something you're afraid of, the more um, or the less afraid of it you are, really. I mean, you know, you get people that are afraid of spiders and then they get themselves a tarantula and then a year later they got three or four tarantulas and they'll let them crawl them. When we come back, Miss Mo helps Shayla and Boss celebrate their relationship in ink. And Mark Swerve helps Lee face her fear of clowns. And later, we'll introduce you to Teddy Rex, one of Erie's newest ink artists. You're watching Inked and Erie on IMTV. How y'all doing? Erie Ink, Erie Zone, El Da Vinci. You know, catch me on Facebook, anything like that. You know, getting inked up for Erie. I really don't have nothing to do, so, you know, I shoot down, get tattoos. I got a couple. Get a thug. What's up, Mike? Anybody just start getting tattoos? Look at my tattoo pin, see? Get between me and you, I had money. No, right around, bro. Hands all tight. Oh, can't believe you can't. Yeah, find a way that you're, if you can, straddle the chair, go ahead and do that. If you can, straddle the chair. <laughs> you can straddle the chair. <laughs> you can be a little chilly. In them type of places. In they them type of faces. <laughs> I know I'm trying to look sexy. <laughs> uh, my name boss. So simple. That B O double F. Huh? <laughs> Let me start over again. I'm sorry. The lady is in a lot of pain. She she gonna talk. That's what happened. But um again. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Oh. How do you feel? I can't tell the truth because I have to come back and get another tattoo done. <laughs> That's okay. You can but, say that it sucked and that it hurts. I, mean, I feel like punching her in the face. <laughs> That's all right. If I had you a dollar for like... every time somebody wanted to punch me in the face, but I'd have honestly, a tattoo. But honestly, oh, it's nice. I'm excited. It was a lot of pain, but it was, it was worth it. I'll be back. You guys happy? Both of you? I'm happy. I'm happy. You happy? All of you? I'm happy. Are you nervous? Yeah, very nervous. Does seeing the picture weird you out a little bit? Huh? Does seeing the, the picture 
yeah. make you feel nervous? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very much so. I mean, I'm happy to be getting inked and trying to overcome a fear. It's going to take a while. A long while. There's a lot of people that know I'm afraid of clowns, too, so they like messing with me. Especially Halloween and everything. So, Lee, how'd that work out for you? Oh my gosh, that hurts so bad. I'd rather go through childbirth again. <laughs> it was worth it, though. I like it. I do like it, but it creeps me the hell out. Oh boy. Do you feel confident that it's gonna work, the, the, the tattoo therapy for your fear of clowns? Yeah. You know, like Mark said, the more you have, you know, something on you, the more you see it and face it every day, the easier it gets. So, you know, not that I'm going to run out to a circus right away, but... When we come back, we'll introduce you to Teddy Rex, one of Erie's newest ink artists. And we head back to Vicious Rumors to talk to Fat Pat about tattooing his face. You're watching Inked and Erie on IMTV. Just off the highway is Tattoo Approved. It's one of Erie's newest shops. And these days, home to Teddy Rex, one of Erie's newest artists. How long have you been doing tattoos, Teddy? I've been tattooing for about uh, six months. I apprenticed for about a year and a half at a different oh, shop awesome. under Pat Mazzone, which is the coolest man in the world. I love him. It's very moved. What made you decide to be a tattoo artist? Me? Yeah. Hey, what um, got you into it? I don't know, like I, I started getting tattooed when I was younger and it it just helped, you know? Like, I mean, everybody grows up different, go through some shit, and it did a lot for me and helped me through a lot of things. And I went to school for art and I thought it'd be awesome to give back to the community. What'd you have to do to get started? Just apprentice, you know? Work 40 hours a week for free. Doing anything you can, to make your way. Was so, it hard to find an apprenticeship? Yeah, yeah. You pretty much. I got lucky. Um, the guy that taught me knew a lot, passed a lot of information on to me. Pretty grateful for it. Awesome guy. But yeah. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Is this the first time you've gotten a tattoo from Teddy? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's pretty much the main reason why I'm getting tattooed today. Let's see, the rest of these are, this is all done by Mark at Midtown, um, but this is all for my sister and us, our relationship together, and um, just a lot of mish, mishmash stuff here. It'll be done soon. And You're working then, on finishing it, like turning it into a full slave. Yeah, yeah. There's gonna be a couple more things added to it, but you know, stuff has to be colored in and things like that, so. You have a dog? Yes, that's my dog, Scarlet. 
she's my well she's not dead or anything but, <laughs> but I just got it because I love her so um, we got a lot of cool stuff I accidentally killed that hamster when I was little with my sister <laughs> Um, and then the rest of my body is pretty much covered. Feet, legs, chest, back, everything. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What, what is it about the tattoos that appeal to you so much? You have a lot of ink. Yeah, I do. <laughs> what, how old were um, you when you got your first one? 18. I got this tiny little rose on my chest, and since then it's been covered up with a huge rose. But, um, I just, I mean, it's, they're addicting for sure, you know? Yeah. So, I just always get them. I always, I always do. Go into a shop. I'm like, ah, I don't care. You know, pick whatever. So it's it's pretty awesome. Yeah. It is cool. Yeah, thanks. you got a lot of ink. Yeah, it's good yeah, work though. It's yeah, good stuff. Thanks, thanks. Um, I have uh, a couple portraits from a couple different people, so those are pretty awesome. And got my toes done and my feet done, legs, everything. Wow. Yeah, yeah. and my husband has no tattoos. Yeah. How so. does he feel about it? He likes them. He thinks they're cool. I think he's getting tattooed this Thursday, actually, which is pretty fantastic. But, um, yeah, he likes them. They're all right. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, his family was kind of surprised that I have, like, my whole body covered and he doesn't have anything, so. But it's exciting. It's exciting. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Molly. That's like awesome. That's awesome. Good work and a good arm, man. <laughs> <laughs> Since you, we did the first episode of the show with you, people have sent some email and they asked about your face tattoos. Can you tell me about that? What, ma what, what made you do that? Well, uh, 20 years in, I uh, figured I was into my career good enough that uh, I wasn't going to be asking people if they wanted fries with that or if they wanted me to scrape the bugs off the windshield for them, so I, uh, I figured I'd do it. Got my face tattoo, you know, locked in, made myself unemployable. That was your commitment to your art. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, I didn't start with the whole face. I just got right around the eye. Done. And, uh, about three weeks later, Mike Tyson got his face done. So I got a bunch of Tyson jokes. And uh, I'm one day older than Mike Tyson. Is that true? I was here first. I did this first. Tyson's trying to be Fat Pat. But I got a bunch of Tyson jokes, so I said, okay. I did the rest of the face. I still got the Tyson jokes, so I shaved my head and went all over. It goes half half my whole head, face, back by my neck, cut my throat. Eh, you know. Man. Was that rough? Like, people say, you know, tattoos on their ribs hurt. How was that, like, on the pain scale? Wanting it is half the battle. So, it really 
it really didn't kill, you know. Plus, the guy who tattooed me, uh, Mark Piper, Midtown Tattoo, he's an awesome dude. Uh, real light hand, he knew what he was doing, very skilled tattooer, you know. He made it as painless as he could, and he's just an awesome tattooer, man, you know. I mean. Next time on Inked and Erie, we'll meet Randy who gets inked to honor Erie's skate culture. We begin the first of our in-depth series about Erie's piercing artists with Holly Branch. For men, it's the genitals or the nipples. Mm -hmm. How about we wait until I... Uh... And we catch up with contest winner Tracy, who gets started on her cover-up. You're watching Inked in Erie on IMTV. I don't have no wise words of wisdom. Just, she I fought through it. <laughs> Bravely battle one. That's what Eerie Ink is all about. Yeah. <laughs>